Welcome, my name is Jan Gestusen, I'm an editor with uh, European Coatings. I'm here with uh, Oliver Sonntag, uh, the CEO of Nanocare. Um, and we're talking here today because uh, Nanocare is nominated uh, for the German Innovations Award. Um, uh, please uh, tell me or uh, ask us uh, why are you nominated? Yeah. We developed a new coating system which is working permanently antimicrobial for a long time. The best thing on this is that it is easy to apply it. This means everybody can apply it easily. Okay, so um, why is it easy to apply? Could you just use a brush or how do it you... It can be delivered in a wet wipe, which is only polished on the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, a simple application process by a polishing out and let it dry. Okay, so how do I see if I uh, coated my, my uh, substrate correctly? Do I see is there like a visible effect or something? Yes, we have developed a marker mm -hmm. where which stick to the antimicrobial compound mm -hmm. so, you, so you can make an invisible coating visible. Okay, and then after a while it's getting invisible again? Or uh, no, the, the marker has to be re removed okay. and uh, also the coating so it has to be recoated. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, so how long does uh, this um, coating last? Uh, yeah, it's a permanent self-disinfection for longer than one year. The coating is persistent, this mm -hmm. means the effect is on the substrate there is no depot which is reducing after a short time. Yeah. It is when it is on the substrate it is working completely because of its physical effect. Okay, so when you say uh, there's uh, no depot, that means you don't use uh, biocides or anything like that? Uh, we use a um, compound, a silicon dioxide, which is listed as biocide, mm -hmm. but the uh, mechanism is physically. This means the, the molecules are so sharp that the bacteria and the mi microbes are harmed by these sharp molecules and uh, they, they die. So it is not a chemical or a metabolism effect, mm -hmm. it is um, a physical effect. Okay, and what kind of material do you, do you use? Uh, we are using a modified silicon dioxide mm -hmm. uh, with special molecule size and special molecule sharpness, which is cutting the cell membrane of a bacteria. Okay, and how robust is it? Uh, you, you mentioned it will last about uh, a year. Um, I suppose it depends on what kind of substrate you're putting it on and or what kind of application do you... The full performance, 99.99% of total kill, mm -hmm. is over one year. We have proven this with accelerated weathering reports. Mm -hmm. um, then it's only depending on abrasion. So okay. uh, if you scratch yeah. or if you clean regularly, you may harm the surface. Mm -hmm. So we did uh, abrasion mm -hmm. testing according to ISO 11998 mm -hmm. and it's over 40,000 cycles on glass, okay. over 20,000 cycles on uh, steel and over 5,000 cleaning cycles on plastic. Okay. So we have a high abrasion resistance mm -hmm. and uh, a very good, uh, yeah, a very long term uh, permanent self disinfection of a surface. Okay. Uh, okay. Last question: When you're talking about antimicrobial coatings, uh, the regulatory uh, stuff is quite important. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can tell me a bit about yeah. uh, the situation there. It is uh, registered in Germany, uh, already also in Austria, in uh, UK, and uh, we are working on uh, a lot of other European countries. For example, mm -hmm. France, mm -hmm. Spain, yeah. Italy. And uh, yeah, and we, we we will have it in Sweden and Finland as well. Okay. So uh, when the new biocide regulation comes, we will have a European approval mm -hmm. in uh, 2024. Okay, yeah. great. We talked uh, with uh, Isha about that, so everything is safe according to the uh, regulation. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you for You're watching. Welcome.